Good morning. Hey, good morning, Orange people. Day two of the contest. Day two of December. 29 days left in the year. Are you still excited? Great friend of mine from uh, Minnesota, man I've admired for many years. I haven't talked to him in a long time. It's prompted me to want to call him. Uh, we've we've kind of mirrored our some of our lives have mirrored things. Uh, interestingly enough, although he's probably was far less of a train wreck than I was, but um, he was a successful broker in Minneapolis, owned his own real estate company that crashed and burned. And he and I got to know each other at Berkshire Hathaway North property since where I licenses in Minneapolis and he was actually one of the managing brokers and a successful salesman and he up and decided to move his family to Colorado to change what he said at the time was his dream uh, when I moved to Arizona I up and left and said it was to follow a dream although I think it was far deeper than that I won't make this too long because you know I get long-winded. Um, anyway, I posted today um, how he had always viewed himself as a failure. Um, and he had followed the cycles as he looked of his his father. Um, and so he said it was no condemnation of his father at all, and nor would I ever condemn my dad. My dad was a wonderful, loving man brilliant uh, yet viewed himself as an absolute failure even though in even in his brilliance and so was my friend Tony's dad and what he did was decide to change his atmosphere to break the cycle um, and I know I get a little bit into the uh, philosophical or state of mind but it's about everything about success and so for me coming to Arizona was breaking a cycle it took a long time and uh, for Tony my friend Tony uh, same thing he moved from Minnesota to Colorado to, to in essence break the cycle and we did that by surrounding ourselves with different people so where does this all lead, of course? You go, Jay, what are you talking about? Folks, we all have cycles. Um, and that is just human development and it's human nature. Some of those cycles are good, some are, are not. And if you find yourself already reverting back to not uh, feeling motivated to do this contest, the contest is really just a, you know, really a symbol of, of breaking a cycle. Uh, we have a cycle of thinking we're going to do wonderful things, and then we don't do them. Uh, I'm number one guilty of that, uh, by far. But you've surrounded yourself, you've chosen to join our merry group, a group of exceptional people who all have their own cycles but have chosen to do real estate differently um, and we've chosen to together build a family where we can rely on each other and to me one of those things is helping ourselves break our cycles and maybe these cycles are just not the best business habits maybe they're um, needing to do something different. The old uh, saying that I use to death is, uh, as Albert Einstein says, you do the thing, same thing over and over again, expecting different results, you do, that is insanity. We do that in real estate. We do that in any business. Today I challenge you to pull up your boots and get on 29 days to 
massive steak dinner and you know some cash prizes which are really that's really that motivates us a little competition's good but it's more about 30 days of creating great habits and more importantly finding where our cycles are you are all wildly successful people we're all in different stages of our success some of us don't don't see it, but you are. If you take a step back and look, you'll see that. The fact that you made a change in your career, the fact that you made a phone call, the fact that you did an open house, the fact that you got out of bed in the morning means you are a success. People rely on you whether you see it or not. And in a team setting, we all rely on each other. So with that said, in the daily orange, which is now at six minutes. Start looking at yourself as not a failure. Change your habits. 30 days to create a habit. And as Tiffany said, two days to break it. Let's not do that. Follow it, rely on your teammates. Call them, call me. To make this a wild success for everybody not about necessarily massive sales although that's sure a nice byproduct but about making ourselves better that's really what this group's about it's about not just better business but it's about better life all right off i go have a great day we're going to see our wayward canadian shane for coffee